<coughs> this is Carolina giving the uh, lecture on how to build these PV modules and the solar. She's doing it instead of me because her French is much better than mine. <coughs> we have to give the lectures in French and then get translated into Bambra. Uh, Nicaragua. She's a Nicaraguan uh, peasant girl, campesina. Really brilliant. And here we're soldering the cells, um, elaminating using the older system um, for the water pump, powering a school. There's the well. That was too deep for that pump. So we had to go to a more powerful submersible pump because the pump was overloaded and it was uh, heating up, even sitting in the water. So, and then after Carolina left to go back to work in Nicaragua, uh, then I took over and I had to give the lectures in French. Somebody's translating to Bambra and then from that into Dogon. I wonder what those people heard. <laughs> So uh, we're building solar cookers, and they start with the cardboard ones. The plans for this are in the main solar primer, and this is the one that we're going to be doing at the schools here. And then we went to the more permanent wood and metal ones, the same ones that the women were building. This is the one I have the instructions for. <clears throat> there, it's all finished. And um, <clears throat> then I came back a second time, to work with orphans and to teach them how to do the um, uh, new laminating system. So, uh, by the way, that's typically the people I work with. La uh, landmine victims, orphans, disabled, lobster divers. Um, I have a lot of good friends in low places. All these people are absolutely dirt poor. I have a rule for myself. Half the people in the world live on less than $2 a day. If you're in the half, I do it for free. That's what the $500. See, they're actually paying me $500 a week. And the way she's having me working, I haven't worked out if it's above minimum wage yet. But here we are. That's, uh, this is why we do solar cookers. I have the same program as well. Yeah. Yep. They're deforesting uh, the Sahil. The Sahara Desert is wa walking south, and that's a good one of the reasons why. Uh, would they allow that on a highway in Nebraska? <laughs> anyway, uh, here are the orphans and myself. Uh, this is in front of the sign for the orphanage. Again, uh, this is all in French. They speak the French there. And we're checking out the orphanage. Uh, they already had PV systems, but they weren't working. So we're going through finding out with the notebooks and things exactly what was wrong, making a list of all the parts that were needed to fix it so that they can go back and get it working again. Here are the orphans cutting the cells. That is Richard Cutting. Got a big kick out of the fact that his name and mine were the same. And um, soldering, laying them on the paper to do the encapsulation. This time we're doing four times nine rather than three times 12. It depends on the size of the glass you're cutting. And now we're putting the silicone down, the expensive stuff, very carefully. Laminating machine again. And then we're going, that's a women's birthing center they just built. That also is adobe with that same uh, plaster, uh, horse manure and all. It's a beautiful building, I think. All made locally out of local material. And the uh, Italian um, uh, Rotary Club said that they would pay for powering the entire village, just the, um, not all the houses, just the community buildings and um, also uh, would build a school. So I'm going around with the orphans, teaching them how to spec a project. So they can come up with a package price, tell the uh, Rotary Club, this is gonna cost you $8,428 or whatever it is, so that they can do, okay. And um, 
there's all the kids. They wanted me to take their picture, so I did there. And here's the same kids, some of them, in their new school. So this is fun. And then we did, um, uh, made um, a, a mango dryer to dry mangoes. And um, there's the final picture. Um, 60 watt modules, 30 watt modules, and cell phone chargers. They're very popular. <clears throat> I did the same thing in Harlem. And uh, here are the Addicts Rehabilitation Center. I'm working with uh, them to, uh, they are also manufacturing modules. Now we're having problems because they um, uh, make the modules perfectly well, but in order to be installed in uh, New York City, everything has to be UL approved. So we actually talked about with Underwriters Laboratory about approving those. It didn't get very far. I went to southern France to do a workshop. I've been all over the place. Um, that we're making a solar water heater totally out of scrap. In fact, I deliberately did this to go with the uh, Buddhist philosophy. Of, the only thing we bought were uh, copper tubing fittings. Everything else I found on the site. And um, there we're installing it. It is sort of not real pretty looking because it's all scrap, but nevertheless, it works just fine. And then I went to India, working with Dravidic tribal people. Again, the same thing. Uh, they built this big uh, dam and they flooded the valley. And so the tribal people uh, need a um, way to, another way of making a living. Here, I, there, I'm, I have skipped a lot of pictures here. They're finishing a module. And we installed a system. This is the greenest resort I've ever seen. They have no heating and no air conditioning in the rooms. Uh, you have fans that rotate and lights, which are electric powered. Solar water heaters, so they do.